program which we have for today is a Subway Veggie Deluxe or Veggie Delight sandwich and um, Subway has had this sandwich in their lineup for quite some time and I also heard on the internet where they were supposed to have another type of sandwich but of course the Subway I went to didn't have it so I just opted for the regular Veggie Delight but with flatbed on it flatbread on it and we paid a rip-roaring five dollars and ninety four cents for this sandwich so we're going to see what's going on this is a vegetarian option for the sandwich since the sauces and stuff on the salad sandwich are animal based with eggs I believe because I know it has mayo on it as they did not have any non animal based sauces to put on other than oil and vinegar but I got the footlong flatbed so that I can kind of be two meals in one so it's, it's a pretty good deal there and I had them to cut it in half for me and I'm going to cut this half in half and we're going to eat this per one particular half of the sandwich and save the other half for later provided this one meets expectations and we'll pull the other one back to the side and we're going to take a look at this sandwich on the inside and basically it's a big salad on the inside and we're going to take it and zoom in a little bit so that you can see the goodies that are in there and uh, we opted for no cheese of course and we're going to take this half and we're going to cut this in half it's flatbread is kind of tough even that on my knife is pretty dull but I think my knife is pretty sharp there there we go so that you can see the inside a little bit better there on the flatbread veggie delight sandwich and of course I could sit up here and I can talk all day about it, but the fact is in the taste. Mm. And uh, we opted for the Chipotle Southwest sauce on it. And oil and vinegar and oregano, a little bit of pepper, and the rest of the veggies. We took all the veggies they had on the scale out there except for no pickles I have a thing I don't particularly care for pickles on my my sandwiches mm. but the flatbread is a nice option because it's not a lot of gluten and yeast in it and uh, it's all um, Mm. It's not quite as doughy as the uh, as the other bread, although the other breads are quite good with the different herb breads and stuff. But when I get to a Subway that has the veggie sandwich with the patty in it that I've been hearing oh so much about on the net and in articles. I'll do another one and evaluate that one. Also, but this time just tasty. Everything in it is fresh, very fresh, because I've been. But I've been hearing some talk about Subway using GMO for their veggies and stuff in their sandwiches. So that takes a little bit of more investigation in it. But uh, overall. It's a pretty good sandwich and it's not greasy. As if you were getting some type of burger. Mm. 
and uh, and even this half of a foot long is quite filling. It's taking me a while to get through with it. Mm. Mm. But these are my thoughts on the Subway Veggie Delight sandwich. I thought I'd get one at the local Subway here. One thing you need to do though, unless you just want to get basically a salad sandwich, which is what this is, call ahead and make sure that they have the veggie patties there. A little girl said that they were out of the veggie patties at the subway that I went to out here in Middle Georgia. So make sure they're well stocked prior to going to avoid disappointment. But if you just want just a regular veggie delight sandwich, I highly recommend getting it with the flatbed because stuff that goes in the veggie delight sandwich they have to have to fix all the other sandwiches so it's in stock mm. they also have a nice option of getting wheat or white flatbread which is something new since the last time I was at Subway and I think that's a nice option I see the flatbread is catching on there it gives the sandwich a whole new dimension and and uh Hmm. It's uh, it's really quite tasty. This is the white bread thing, although the wheat tends to have a little bit more gluten. I'm trying to avoid a lot of the gluten and stuff in the system because I have a, a little bit of a problem with it myself. But uh, occasionally, I guess it's fine. You know, it's still quite vegetarian, although not along the strictest confines of veganism. But as a veg vegetarian alternative, it's right dead on in it. Well, a little more bite, and then I'll give you the rating for this. Mm. Let me write this up and give it a grade. Here is the grade for this sandwich. Subway Veggie Delight on Fret Bread. I give it an A minus. And the reason why I give it an A minus is because it has no veggie patty in stock at the store. And also, there's a GMO question. Big one. So, on the surface, it tastes real good, but caveat emptor, buyer beware. But on the surface, it's a pretty good taste and a pretty good buy. And for five, five something, you know, it's it's not really a bad deal. Now, comparatively speaking, the Central Park dinner that I had in the past was somewhat cheaper, but you didn't get quite as much food, but you did get some nice fries with it and a drink. This This is just a sandwich. I didn't go to combo on it. So, you know. I opted for more food instead of, you know, just chips and a drink. You know, I wanted more sandwich. I really was kind of hungry tonight. But anyway, there we are. So, take a look at it and give it a try if it looks good to you.